right now, about 50 Utah vets are getting ready to board an honor flight to Washington, D.C. Now, this is exciting stuff. We are going to follow their journey throughout the morning as they take off to Washington, D.C. Their flight's going to be leaving around 8 o'clock this morning, and this is a trip of a lifetime for many of them. So for many, this will be their first time going to Washington, D.C. and touring those veteran war memorials that so many people visit every year and maybe share some stories and, and we are going to be giving them a send off this morning um, as they board the gate here I understand there'll be a band playing and we really just want to make sure that they feel loved and appreciated for the sacrifice that they made for us absolutely guys all got what they called snail mail back in the day. We didn't have internet and, and cell phones back then, so we're going to have something we'll call mail call for you guys right now. Be able to get off the plane and see how the people reacted to us was just just amazing. I mean, they were just screaming and hollering and shouting. You'd think you'd won the Super Bowl or something. So. It's the only time I've ever been applauded in my life. <laughs> to walk through the airport and see people standing and clapping for something that they probably don't understand has been a real eye opener. People coming up, shaking hands with you, wanting to talk to you, and thanking you for your service. It's been amazing. We didn't get that when we came home. I came into Oakland, and uh, it was just nobody wanted us there. So we thought well, we should be ashamed of what we just did, you know. But this is great. I think this is very therapeutic for a lot of people. The museum and the National Archives, it's special to me that I was able to come here and see that because it's going to go away. It was uh, pretty interesting. Used to speak Vietnamese and I was able to read a lot of things that were written by other soldiers. Well, I think the most impressive thing is the people that have uh, greeted us where we've been, you know, the respect that we've been shown that we never had before. And I think that's really nice. It means a lot because you see that there's other people out there that appreciate what you did. I really like the flag ceremony at the World War II Memorial. I've never shook so many hands in my life, and I appreciated that. That moves you. All the places that we visited was really great, but I would say the highlight was the Vietnam Wall. One of the biggest things I wanted to see was find my buddies that I lost. I have 
a few friends that died in Vietnam, and I scratched their names onto a piece of paper off the wall. Got to see my brothers and sisters, spent time with them, long time coming. I found numerous people that was with our squadron on the wall, and that kind of affects me. It still does. Gave you the insight to where you and you see what the other guy did, the Korean War, the Vietnam War. It, it was just a great, great feeling, a great experience. Well, I've been talking to as many as I could and getting to know, you know, what they did, what their experiences were. So uh, that was really special. It's been just joyful. It's been a joyful two days, and I am so grateful that I've had the opportunity to come here. Oh, I love that Navy. With those guns. How they flipped them things around. Oh, I don't know how they did it. The Navy drill team. Oh, I could have watched it forever. I was in the Navy, and uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed those young men with their rifles and their procedure that they did. I was amazed at the cemetery, the size of it was. You'll never get tired of the changing of the guard to see how well they do that. It's just so amazing to watch the dedication of those guys. For one of them to come on the bus and personally thank us for our service was a real treat. I am so grateful that I've had the opportunity to come here again and to see many of the changes like to the Women's Museum because I helped contribute some things to that. And so it was just wonderful to run around and check on those things. <laughs> and one of the flight jackets that I used to give out to the pilot was on display with the fur collar. I remember handing them out. I've never seen such wonderful reception of veterans. Everybody greeted us, shook our hands, thanked us for being a veteran. You couldn't ask for more than that. I never wore anything that had to do with, like, this hat. I just bought it for this flight. I didn't wear it before because I didn't know how people would interact with me being a Vietnam veteran. Now I can wear this proudly knowing that they do have respect for us, and they do honor us, and that we did the right thing at the right time. Yeah, this whole thing has just been unbelievable. And the, the kindness of the people has really been touching to me. I will just love going back and looking at the memories of this trip. What a fantastic thing that they're doing for us veterans. Closure to everything, you know, something I've always wanted to do. Off the bucket list, you know, to just come and see it all. It's meant everything, I mean, it's been great. It's, it's, I just don't know the words to say. It's just been wonderful. Let me be the first to say It meant something that I should have done a long time ago. It kind of puts a lot of things to rest. It's good to have you back where you belong. You know, I love everybody that have been here. Fellows and the ladies of the way, they've all I been good. Hi, ladies. <laughs> We're proud to call you one of our own. This is more than what I ever expected. It's, uh, it's been a great trip. If a man looked the way he said, I know how you must feel. I spent too long years A lot of it will fade in time, but the feelings that I have experienced in the last day or two will last forever. Trying to make this world a safer place. <laughs> if 
When I came back from Vietnam, I was very angry. Didn't like myself, didn't like people around me because of the experience that I went through, of all of us that went through that war. And, uh, but this uh, Utah Honor Flight restored that faith back in me. It said, you know, people do care. And uh, I did have a line in the back of my jacket which said, the forgotten generation. And I believed that for quite some time. But this trip, <laughs> just restored that spirit and that hope that you know there are good people still and uh, I'm grateful that I had the opportunity uh, to be here and share this with a lot of my friends then the soldier stopped and turned to the man standing near him saluted him and said sir I know it's a little late but welcome home